Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Mystifying Guitar Series with me, Madenge. And today we are going to learn about the seventh chords. These are the major seventh and the minor seven chords. Mostly they are used in R&B, new soul chords, jazz, blues. Yeah, those are the chords that you are going to deal with today, as well as a few techniques that you are going to learn about how to embellish the chords to make them sound sweeter. Right into it, we are going to use the key of E flat minor, and the chords are an E flat minor seven, an F minor seven, a B flat minor seven, and an A flat minor seven. Another name for flat is a sharp of the latter. In that, if this is an A flat minor, then it's a G sharp minor seven, okay? A flat, um, a seventh chord is made up of four notes, a one, a three, a five, and a seven. That's why it's called a seventh note. Then you have the major and the minor. In this case, you're going to play in the key of E flat minor, as mentioned earlier. In this lesson, the aim is to look at the, the chords and techniques. So let's look at the chords. How to hold a B flat minor seven. Use your index finger to bar on the sixth fret, and then use your ring finger to hold down string number five, fret number eight. And all together, this is the voicing. That's the sound you expect, a B flat minor seven. The same shape, two frets, Starting at fret number four, we have our A flat minor seven. Then on the sixth fret again, bar it and then hold a minor, but not a full A minor, where your second finger holds string number two, fret number seven, and your ring finger, your third finger, holds string number four, fret number eight. Then that same shape, you transfer it to frets. You skip one fret, the second fret. Then you get your F minor 7. So the chords again are B flat minor 7, A flat, A flat minor, those are the chords that you're going to use for this lesson. I said that you're going to learn the chords and the techniques. There are a few techniques that you need to learn to make these chords sound better. While I was introducing the video, I was playing it like this. And that is the first technique. The thumb slap. The thumb slap on these low strings. You are um, picking. The beat or this slab occurs at the second beat and the fourth beat, more of a percussion. And that's the first technique. The second technique that you're going to learn, we are going to learn about a hammer on and a pull off that I'm going to use my spectrum here so that I can show you. For example, our E flat minor. That's a hammer on. So the E flat minor sounds much better with this compared to this flat. This is so flat, but this is sweeter. You can hear it. That's a hammer on. Actually, a hammer on and a, and a pull off. So these are two techniques, hammer and pull off. Hammer is pressing down the string, pulling off, 
as the name suggests that's a pull off the that technique that you're going to learn is a slide so let me show you a thumb slap that's a slide or else from one chord to another i have been sliding and as the name suggests a slide is just sliding but you must slide with the root note or a note that is relevant to your chord like here i'm using the root note but here i'm sliding the whole chord that's another technique another technique is a vibrato a vibrato just like used by vocalists is a slight bend in the tone which helps you to convey the tone in music and gives the notes a better feel let me show you how this is the root note that's a vibrato and how am i achieving a vibrato sorry i'm shaking the string gently and do not mistake a vibrato with a bend there are bends also and we bend to achieve the next note like is the same as you see that's a this is bending but for a vibrato we sustain the note yeah and that was the last one but not the least others will come as we continue so thank you for watching have a nice time as you practice and i'll see you on the next one if you have any suggestion of content that you'd like i'd be so happy to take your comment and give it to you thank you have a nice time